So today we're going to be putting together our water pump lamp, a very unique piece of Americana. I uh, believe that Ron was actually inspired by something similar that he saw and something that he might actually own. Uh, but anyway, let's just jump right in here. First thing we're going to do is, well, since it's a tea light, we are going to be adding some vellum. And these three pieces here are our main pieces. And what we're going to do is, well, we're going to sandwich the vellum so that the inside looks nice and clean. These, these patterns here are all identical. So it doesn't really matter which one you put where. They're all going to go in the same spot. And we, like I said, we're going to sandwich the vellum. And I think the best way to do that to ensure that we get it right is to actually put the vellum on the back of the panel first. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to use a series of dots so that we don't spread glue all over the place. And I'm going to hit it here in the centers where this little design is. You don't need a lot. And actually, you don't want to do a lot because it will spill out and make a mess. And then work a little bit of glue around the perimeter, just a very thin amount. And then when you place this down, just make sure that you are, in fact, covering all of the little cutouts, like so. Okay. So that's what we want it to look like when we're all done. So we're going to do that three more times. Uh, there's only three sides that require vellum because one side is wide open so that we can actually put our little tea light in there or take it out, turn it on, turn it off if you don't have a remote. Okay, so let's just do that. And again, just real thin little dots all around the perimeter. And do your best to get that nice and centered right on the panel. There we go. Put that out of the way for now. And our last one. Again, just go easy on the glue. And that should hold it. Little dots. And then again, around the perimeter. Dot, dot, dot. There we go. Pop it right into place. There we go. Okay, so there's going to be a little bit of pre-prep, and that's kind of what we're doing now, just getting things prepared. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our panels on the actual structure here, like so. Now this section here is going to go all the way down to the bottom. So what we want to do, first and foremost, is work our glue around the perimeter. There's going to be a little bit of an area there where we don't have any vellum try to focus some glue on that area as that will hold better and then do a few little dots again on the paper section where you don't see through the vellum we want to get it right in there so that you don't see any glue coming through and then you just want to lay that right on there just line it up with the cutout. Okay, and you know that you got it. You kind of look through it and whoops. There we go. If you get a little bit of glue that shoots out, just rub it off with your finger. If you have a little brayer, you can certainly use that to kind of push that down. And again, that piece of that paneling should be pretty flush with the bottom here. And that's how you know that you've got it in the right spot. Okay. And that looks pretty spot on. Okay. So that's one down, two more to go.
Okay, so let's work that glue around the perimeter. Try to get some on the actual paper, if you can. And then a few dots on the actual paper section that does not have the cutouts for the vellum. I might have said vinyl before, I did not mean that. It's vellum, not vinyl. Okay, one other thing you can try to do is when you lay this down, just focus on making sure that it's flush at the bottom first and centered, and then the rest of it should just kind of fall into place. That looks pretty spot on. There we go. That looks good. Yep. And it might be a tiny bit off, but that's okay. Not a big deal. All right, so moving on here to the next one. And again, you can probably see where you put the previous dots because they, well, they kind of show up a little bit darker where the glue is. So you can just hit those same exact spots again so that you don't need to guess, because with that vellum on there, it is a little difficult to see what's what and what goes where. Okay, so again, try to focus on getting it nice and flush with the bottom and centered, and then the rest of it should just fall right into place. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. I think that's good. There we go. Okay. So the main shades <clears throat> are pretty much ready here. And again, this one, this one doesn't have anything on it. There's no, well, actually, I'm sorry, it does. It has a panel, just no vellum. So we do need to glue this on. So let's get that in place. And I did hit this with a little bit of ink just to kind of give it a nice little distressed look. Because it is kind of a, kind of a vintagey piece. Okay, so again, make sure that it's flush with the bottom and centered. And t I guess technically you're just matching it up with a little cut out there. That's how you know that you've got it correctly in place. Grab that brayer if you have it, press that down, and voila. Okay, great. All right, so we'll put that off to the side for now and kind of keep on cruising here. We're gonna get a few more pieces prepped with panels and such, okay. So here is piece number four. You can tell by the four little dashes in a circle or a square. And we'll find this coordinating piece here. You can see how that's cut out. Now that's for, uh, one of those is for a handle, one of them is for a spout. And you can see here that when I ran this through the embossing machine, it kind of ripped, but that's okay. We'll just make sure to glue it down all together and you won't even be able to tell. And that does occasionally happen with some embossing, but you can see that once it's laying down, It'll be fine. So let's get our glue on this entire piece here. If you do run into a situation where you're embossing and it's actually tearing up the paper, um, I guess it really depends on which embossing machine you're using. Or if you have multiple embossing machines, it may help to try a different one that has less pressure. Uh, I need to make a video about that. But anyway, you need to get this nice and centered, match it up with this little flap here, make sure that those all line up, and then up here, you wanna make sure that you've got it at that correct angle. I'm gonna fold that down just to make sure that it's getting right into that little nook and cranny there. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And this is the, uh, it's the base, well not the base, but the, uh, 
the main part of our lamp here. Okay, just make sure you've got everything nice and folded as well. And obviously this one corresponds to this one here since it is a little bit wider than that one. And that is gonna be for our little spout. So let's get our glue on this piece. And you can see how this embossing folder really does a number on the paper, really stretches it out. Luckily, it didn't completely destroy it. I've had that happen before. Okay, so you're gonna lay that down, get it nice and centered, and make sure that this little flap section matches up with the little flap on the actual structure here, this piece. There we go, I'm gonna fold that down, make sure that little corner is making good contact, there we go. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> and then these two are almost identical, but it doesn't matter which of these two you put on it. Oops, well that one just ripped, but again, it's okay. It kind of adds to, it adds to the vintageness of it. As long as the paper's still there, you can always just kind of push it back into place and you won't even notice, especially because we have it on this vanilla colored cardstock. Should be okay. If not, if I don't think it looks good, I may need to recut it, but we'll see. Get it nice and centered. Yeah, you can see that that's gonna look just fine. And there we go. Press that into place. I'll fold that down. There we go. Yeah, not bad. It actually just looks like a really, really distressed piece of wood grain. So that's fine. And the last one here. Let's get that in place. Well, this, this one, this item here definitely completes the whole idea of down on the farm with our barn and I'm sure most farms have little pumps. Okay. Get it nice and centered. You should have a nice even border going all the way around, up and down. There we go. And I can fold that down. Make sure that that little piece squeezes right into that little corner there. Okay, great. So these are ready to go. Now we've got a little spout and a little handle. We're just gonna assemble these and add our panels real quick here. Okay, so this guy here is gonna use these little overlays here. Okay, and I believe that these overlays, <clears throat> okay. So when we put these little panels on, we wanna make sure that this section here is nice and flush with the back. Okay, so I'll show you here in a second what I mean by that. Sometimes and typically when we're adding panels, we have completely even borders all the way around. But in this case, we're gonna have a nice even border on the bottom and top, but not along the back. So we want it nice and flush with the back. See what I mean there? So it's flush here, but a border there. Okay, same thing on the other side, just like that. Let's get our glue on there. And just pop that into place, nice and flush with the back. It may help to push that tab away and down so you can actually see the very edge. Make sure it's nice and centered, there we go. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom here with this little piece. We wanna make sure that that's nice and flush all the way up to the tab. So let's do that. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so with this, there's really nothing to assemble because we're gonna actually pop this into place later on so we can put that off to the side. But let's take a look at this one here. 
Now this one we are going to need to assemble, but before we do, we can put our little panels on here. And these panels are going to go on similar to how we did the other ones where this edge here is going to go right up and be nice and flush with where that tab is. Okay, so we're going to put it right there. You're going to have an even border up here, or up at the top and the bottom, but it's going to be flush on that side. So let's do that. go. Okay, same thing on the other side. Get your glue on that. And then we made this piece dimensional, but not like completely closed, so that it still has a nice dimensional aesthetic, but isn't difficult to assemble. So we're kind of, kind of figuring out ways to make life easier while also crafting in 3D. Okay, so now we're gonna take these two sides that we have the panels on, and we're simply going to glue them to the sides of these little tabs here. Now there's two tiny little tabs here, so we wanna put some glue on that. Let me move this out of the way so we don't accidentally get glue on it. Tiny little tab, tiny little tab, and then this long tab. Make sure you get plenty of glue on there. Spread that all the way out across that section there. And you will need to kind of bend it a little bit so that it takes on that shape. As long as you get it aligned with the large tab there, the rest of it should just kind of take shape on its own. As you can see there, there we go. And just hold that for a moment while it sets. And do the same thing on the other side. Get your glue on small tab, smaller tab, and then the large tab here, spread that glue out. And again, as long as you get it aligned with that long tab, you may need to kind of push down right here a little bit just to force it into place. But for the most part, it should pretty much take shape on its own and figure out where it needs to go. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then these three tabs here, we're gonna use this to uh, essentially anchor this into the base of the lamp. Okay, so there we have it. So that's that. Okay, so these little sections that we just built, we're gonna get these in place now because it is gonna be easier. So find the one, find this guy here, and this one is gonna go into this piece that is a little bit wider. Okay, so make sure you're getting it in the right one. We're gonna slip the tabs through like so, just like that. You can see on the back here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these tabs and we're gonna glue them to the inside. We're gonna spread them out like that. And then this guy here is gonna get glued. Let me see here. Yeah, I'm gonna glue that up and glue these up to the side. So grab your glue. You don't need a ton of glue on this, just a tiny little dot will do and glue that up, press that up against that little flap. And then these two will get glued to the sides. Just a little bit of glue, don't overdo it. Okay, press and hold that down. If you wanna use your table, you can. Get a little more leverage there. There we go. Same thing here, just a little bit of glue. And bring that over, press that down. You can do it on your table. And there we have it. Okay, so that's our that's one section, nice and complete. And then same thing here, except this one. It's gonna go this way, like so. Okay, so you can see how that goes. And we're gonna fold this tab down Glue that down to the little flap. Just a tiny bit of glue. And this one we're gonna have to, well, we can do that on our table. Press that down. Make sure it's nice and even and centered. There we go. And we'll take these two flaps 
and we're going to glue them off to the side. So we're going to pull them over this way, like so. Press that down. And the last one. Pull that over to that side and press down. There we go. Okay. So these are ready to go. And you'll notice that we have a numbering system on these. And let's find that real quick here. This is number one, Roman numeral one. This is number two. This is gonna be number three. And this is number four. So we're gonna assemble them in that order. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm gonna start off by we're going to start off by gluing the longer tabs together first. So go ahead and get your glue on the long tab here. And we do want this to have nice clean seams. So you're going to want to spread that glue out nicely. And you should probably get used to holding this up. Not use the table right now because when we get to the other sections, I'm not exactly sure we're going to be able to do that, okay? But that's how we want it to look. You can actually fold this over so you can push down right on that seam, like so. There we go. So we've got two sections connected. Now we can work our way up to this little tab here. Now this section is going to flare out towards you. It's not going to be straight up, okay? And we just want to take that neighboring piece, line it up, and just connect it like so. Just like that. Okay. All right, so this is piece two. Find piece number three, which is this guy here. And we're going to do the same thing. Start with the long tab. Get your glue on that. Okay. And I'm going to fold this down. So I can work that glue out to the edges without it crossing over onto this surface here. Grab piece number three, get it lined up. Make sure that it is in fact nice and aligned. There we go. And again, you can fold that over onto itself. Give that a squeeze right at that seam. Beautiful. And just like we did last time, we're going to put glue on this little triangular tab up here. You can see that. There it is. And we're going to close this up. Okay. So grab this piece, bring it up, get it aligned, and press and hold. There we go. So far, so good. All right, final piece here. Get your glue on the long tab and spread that glue out. There we go. Get that aligned. Pop it into place. I guess technically these little features here could put those in place after you get all four of these sides together, but I, I don't think it's, I think it's a little bit easier to get your hands in here to work with those little tabs before all of these are joined together. So either way, I know that some of you are going to be working on this before the videos are even out and you may do it that way and that's fine. Okay. So I've got glue on that triangular tab there so that I can get this one in place. And just line it up nicely, give it a press, and there you have it. Okay, and now it's just a matter of closing it up. Again, we're going to start with the longest tab. Get your glue on that. And I'm going to get that glue out to the edges. Okay. Go ahead and close it up. Grab this section here, make sure it's nice and aligned and you can get your finger down through the bottom 
to help with that. And then up here, you got plenty of room to get your finger into this section to help you press that into place. And then we're gonna have to get some glue on this little triangular tab, that last one at the top. And that's fine. And then go ahead and close that up. So that's not too bad. Pretty straightforward actually. And then we just have a top and a bottom to glue into place. And be ready for the next section here. Okay, so it's up to you if you want to do the top or bottom first. I'm gonna start at the top. Go ahead and get your glue on all three of these tabs. And work that glue out. So everything looks nice and crisp. There we go. Go ahead and close it up and just align it with this side here initially, the side opposite of the side that is already hinged and connected. And then work your way around the perimeter here. And if you need to, to kind of help it grab those tabs better, you can go through the top and push down on those tabs. And that looks pretty good. And then we can close her up, get these tabs in place. And close that up. There we go. And just hold that until it fully sets. Okay. There we go. That looks kind of cute on its own, if I do say so myself. All right, great. So now let's go ahead and put together our base. This is our base here. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything folded first. And we'll put our panels on and then we'll construct the base. Pretty straightforward little piece. It's kind of a, just a little platform to put this on to make it look nice and polished. And think of the three projects. This one's probably one of the easier ones, believe it or not. I think we could probably get this done in under 60 minutes, which isn't bad. It's a good amount of time for a craft project, I'd say. All right, so just make sure that all of, all, of your, all of your tabs and everything's folded at the score marks. And then we have uh, a series of little panels. Two of them are shorter, two of them are longer. Make sure you get them in the right spot. And we're gonna be putting these on, these sections here at the bottom, making sure that we have a nice even border going all the way around. So make sure you do that. Get it nice and centered. You can see that I did hit this with a little bit of ink as well. And I used a whole heck of a lot of potter's clay on these projects from the, uh, <clears throat> on the farm bundle. It's a nice brown red sort of mix. It's, a, it's one of my me memento inks, the ones that we're always giving away and, and using in our videos. But again, that's all gonna depend on what type of paper you're using. We used a lot of natural earth tones and browns and reds, just kind of country colors, fall colors. So that was a very appropriate ink color to use. And there we go. And I'm just doing this while this is flat. It just makes it a lot easier, less warping, less bending, less creasing. And that will help you achieve a more polished result. There we go. And I did get a little bit of glue that came out of there. Just kind of pick it up with my finger and it doesn't cause me any problems. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna join these two sections together using our little triangular tabs here. 
So go ahead and get some glue on the first tab, doesn't matter which one, and bring this over and tuck it behind the neighboring section, line it up nicely, and give that a press. Don't use a lot of glue, less is more. It'll go a lot quicker if you use less glue. Okay, we're gonna scoot on over here to this side and get our glue on this tab. And kind of hitting it with your finger like that, thinning it out and making it a little tacky will help the drying time as well. And it'll prevent that glue from squirting out. Again, making everything look nice and polished. There we go. Now I'm gonna fold this out of the way and we're gonna get glue on this tab. Like so. Okay, I'm gonna bring that in, tuck it behind this section. Now I had a little bit of glue come out there, but you just simply rub it off with your finger. Just get rid of it. And just press and hold that in place. There we go. And the last one. There we go. Just tuck that right behind this shorter section here. Line it up, press and hold. And there we go. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Forgot to put this on here. That's okay, not a big deal. All right, so there's that. You can flip it over, get these three tabs ready, and apply your glue to all three tabs as we're gonna be closing this up. And I'm going a little bit heavier because I am gonna paint this glue out to the very edges here so that we get a nice clean seam, just like that. There we go, okay? And again, this is the hinge section here. Try to align it with the side opposite of the side of the hinge side first. Make sure it's nice and centered. And then just kind of work your fingers around the other two sides. If you need to kind of nudge the wall in inward a little bit, you can do so. And just kind of keep on running your fingers along the perimeters here just to make sure that is making good contact before everything sets. And that should be pretty spot on. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, great. So now I'm just gonna pop this into place. Okay, that's our little panel on top. I did emboss this on a little bit of a lighter pressure uh, because when we put the actual lamp on top of this this platform, I wanted it to sit as flat as possible, but I also wanted to have some texture on this. So I used my uh, Sizzix Texture Boutique to give it a very light embossing. Okay, and there are some markers on the top of this little platform to help you with the centering of this piece. So definitely use those to your advantage. And there is our beautiful little platform. Okay. Now, while we work on assembling the lampshade, we can actually put this thing and glue this thing down. There are also a series of markers on this panel to help you with the alignment, and that's where it's gonna go, like so, okay? So, I can flip this over, and I'm gonna put a nice and generous amount of glue on the bottom of this. I'm gonna go a little bit thicker around the perimeter, because I'm gonna spread that glue out to the very, very edges, because I want that to sit nice and flush. Okay, so really a generous amount there. The handle needs to be sticking off the side of the platform, so make sure that when you align this that you don't have the handle going that way. And there we go. Just hold that down in place for maybe 30 seconds or so, making sure that it's making good contact with the platform before you let it go. And that looks great. Okay, so we can put this off to the side for now while we finish putting together 
our lampshade. Okay, so onto the lampshade. We've got these three pieces here. You'll notice that one of them, well, two of them have a little L on them and one does not. These two, we're gonna glue these together to form one solid base. Okay, so let's do that. Just get your glue on this whole piece here. Try to work some of that glue out to the edge. And probably need to go around and maybe fix some of these if they're not, if it's not sitting pretty. I'll grab my brayer, help me push that glue into these little nooks and crannies. Okay, and then we're gonna take this piece and I'm gonna flip this this way. Okay, you'll notice that there are a series of numbers on this and those correspond with the actual lampshade as well. And what we're gonna to need to do is glue these to the corresponding areas. So. Here's where number one's gonna go. It's gonna go right on where you see the number one. So let's do that. Let's get our glue onto this tab. Tab number one. And I'm gonna spread that glue out to the very edges, like so. And probably help to do it this way. Make sure that you've got side number one corresponding to tab number one. Just make sure that it's nice and aligned. Okay, and I've got my, uh, wait a second, did I do that right? No. You want your texture side down. Okay, so don't worry about that. I'll have to do that one more time. I guess it really doesn't matter if you have this, the smooth side or the texture side down. I don't think it matters, but it might. No, actually it does matter. Make sure that your texture side is down. So in this case, right now it's up, but eventually once we get this all together, it'll be facing down. So right now you can keep the texture side up, but eventually once we fully assemble this, it will be facing downward. Okay, so pardon my boo-boo here. And that's kind of what we want it to look like. So there's section one, okay. Now this here is section two, find lampshade number two. And we're gonna glue that to side number two. So get your glue on tab number two. Okay, and again, I'm gonna paint that glue out to the very, very edge here. And we're gonna tuck that right underneath here, just making sure that it's nice and centered. There we go. Like that. And fold that over onto itself, make sure that Everything is nice and aligned. I'll take a look and see how that, that matches up nicely, good. Okay, moving right along to section number three. I'm gonna flip it over this way. It's a lot easier this way. Get your glue on section number three, tab number three on the lampshade. Okay. And we get that glue out to the very edge here. There we go. And you can tuck it under. Make sure that it's nice and centered. There we go. And essentially this little piece with all the numbering, uh, the numbers and markers 
it's going to really pretty much butt up against the panel for the lampshade. That's how you know that you've got it lined up nice and accurate. There we go. Perfect. And then that just leaves number four. And here is our number four, tab number four. Let's get our glue on tab four. Spread that out. There we go. And we can just tuck that right under. Make sure it's nice and centered. There we go. I think that's good. It might be a little off. Give it a little nudge. There we go. Okay. Fold that over onto itself. Check your work. Make sure everything's nice and flush. There we go. Okay. All right, so bottom is in place. Now before we close this up, we're gonna take this and I'm gonna put this down. Now you'll notice that there's a number four right here. We wanna put that on side number four like this because you'll see here there's a little X right here. I'm just gonna poke it through. This is where our little our little chain, our little pulley chain to supposedly turn the lamp on and off. That's where that's gonna go. And we want this hole to match up with that, okay? I also wanna make sure that we keep this nice and centered in here when we put it down so that it does not obstruct the lamp's ability to close up like that, okay? But that's not a big deal. You can always kind of give it a little nudge if we don't have it in the right spot. So just do that. And maybe one more little thin line around the perimeter. Okay. I think if you align it so that that little X is dead center on that circle, you'll be fine. But just in case, pull these in and make sure that they move freely, and they do. So I know I've got it in the right spot. I can take my brayer and press that down nice and firm so that won't go anywhere, okay? And now we can close this up by simply applying glue to these tabs and then just getting this all nice and aligned like so. All right, so pick a tab, any tab, doesn't matter where you start. And get your glue on the tabs. Like so. And then pull one of the sides over, the neighboring side, obviously. And get that nice and aligned. And just press and hold. If you want, you can put it flat on your table. Get a little bit of extra leverage there. Push that down. And there we have it. Next tab. And you can see how quickly I'm moving here because for one, I'm using very little glue. And then also as I spread it out and thin it out, it already kind of starts to absorb into the paper. So it doesn't take as long to fully set. And grab the next side of the lampshade Get that nice and lined up and press that down into place. You can put that down on your table, press down from the inside. There we go. And it just leaves two more little tabs here. Get your glue on the next section, like so. Take that glue and spread it out. Now that last tab, I'm gonna have to play with that a little bit to get that to, well, to get the glue on it. And actually, make sure you slide that tab inside. Okay, and if you want, you can put that down on your table and use a little dowel to help you get some more pressure on there. OK, 
Okay, so we've got one tab left here. Should be able to pull it out enough to get your glue on there. If not, you can always use our little paint method, but I think this is gonna work out just fine. Okay, and if you can't get your finger in there, just grab a scrap piece of paper and use that to kind of, almost like you're putting, putting butter on a piece of bread or something. Just spread that out to the very edges. And then you can go ahead and close that up. You've got a nice little hole in the back there. You can slide your fingers in and it'll help you get everything nice and in place. And there's our lampshade. <clears throat> okay, so all that's left to do, now I'm gonna do a few things to this. Um, I don't think I need to show you these steps, but I'm gonna show you, well, this obviously we need to glue on. You'll notice that on the bottom of this, we've got a series of, um, got a series of markers here to help you with the alignment. And then the side with the little X that has the two little holes on top, that side is gonna be on the side where you have this little handle. Okay, so you can see where that little X is. That's gonna go on this side where we have the little hole on the handle. So we need to glue this on like so. Okay, so you can see, see that little hole there, right there. I'm gonna to point to it with my thumb right there that needs to line up or be on the same side as the little handle. Okay, so that's how you know that you've got it in the right spot. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Let me get my glue on this little section and I'm gonna spread that glue out nice and thin. It's pretty thick because I wanna make sure that it holds nice and firm and all the way out to the very edges so everything looks nice and flush. And again, make sure that that little hole is on your right side so it matches up with the little handle. And then take a look and make sure that it is in fact nice and straight before you commit. That looks pretty good, I'd say. I need to give it a little nudge over this way. There we go, and there we go. Okay, that looks good. So we're gonna let that sit. Now, there's a couple things that I'm gonna do off camera that are optional, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it just to kinda jazz it up a little bit. Um, I've got some braid here, and I'm gonna hot glue the braid right here up on top. And then I've got, I've got some little ball fringe that I'm gonna glue, hot glue, around the very bottom of the lamp, okay? But we also have our little pulley that is going to act as a, actually, you know what, I'm also gonna put some braid around this section here, okay? But the pulley, uh, well, pulley is gonna go through it's gonna go through this little hole, and I may need to kind of dig this out a little bit more and open it up so I can actually get this through. That's fine. I'm gonna feed this through a little hole there. So as I was saying, um, I just have this little strand of pearls that I'm gonna use as my little pulley. You can use whatever you'd like, uh, but essentially you just wanna feed it through the little hole in the top there, and then also through the little hole in the handle. And then what I'm gonna do, and I'll do this off camera, cause I don't, you guys are probably gonna do something different. Um, I'm going to actually create a larger little pearl at the bottom of this um, by stripping away a couple of these. Uh, and then again, we'll be adding some braid around here, around here, and I've got the ball fringe that I'm gonna hot glue around the base of the lamp and um, that's pretty much it. It's ready for this little section here. You've got a little cutout where you can put your little tea light and it's ready to go. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, head on over to our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. 
And while you're there, hit the little bell so that you get notifications anytime we release a new product, a new freebie, or any of our uh, wonderful educational tutorials. Uh, and if you make this or anything from our new bundle, I would love to see it. And so would the 22,000 plus other dreamers that inspire us. So head on over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group. And, um, or you can click on, actually type in this URL here that you see at the bottom. It'll take you right there. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the bundle and I look forward to crafting with you again.